Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel for today's video. I'm gonna be doing a huge collective haul for you guys. I have so many different brands in this video. I have Skims, Dossier, Sephora, Ulta, Princess Polly, Shop Colorful Natalie, Topshop, Revolve, Brandy Melville. I just have them all, you guys. So, I'm really excited for this video. Um, I've been basically collecting this stuff since my last collective haul. So it's definitely way overdue, but we're gonna get into it because it's gonna be a long one and I don't wanna waste any time. So if you guys are excited for this video, then just keep watching. So of course, it's not a haul video if I don't mention Dossier, my absolute favorite. I love them so, so much. So basically, Dossier is a fragrance website and they have designer inspired fragrances. So basically what they do is they take like a designer fragrance and they replicate it and make it their own, but it literally smells the exact same as the designer, but it's literally a fraction of the price. You guys know I love them. What I really like about Dossier is that when you get your designer inspired fragrance in the mail, it comes with a little sample size of the fragrance that you ordered. So basically what you do is you try out the sample before you try the 50 milliliter bottle, which is the big one, and you can try out the sample for 30 days. And if you decide you don't like it, you wanna get another fragrance, or you just want your money back, then you literally can send it back. Your money is guaranteed to get back to you and there's no strings attached. It's not a hassle at all to return them, and I really like them a lot. So if you guys do decide to return your fragrances, just make sure that the 50 milliliter bottle is still sealed and unopened, and you can get your money back. So I really like that about them. So I'll show you guys the two that I've been loving this month. This one is Floral Musk, and I'll have the name of the designer inspired fragrance on the screen and the price and everything, but I love this one so, so much. And then we have Floral Lavender, which this one smells amazing, and I know it doesn't look like I have used it. Well, I guess you can tell that I've used them, but I have like 20 Dossier perfumes that I just switch off every day, so that's why. All my bottles are like still pretty much full because I don't just use the same one every single day I like to experiment because they smell so good. So definitely check out Dossier's website in the description box They have so many designers. They have Tom Ford. They have Le Labo. They have YSL. They have Gucci They have Chanel. They have so many so definitely check them out I do have a discount code for you guys. It is Hannah Victoria 10 for 10% off your order Thank you to Dossier for partnering with me on this portion of the video and without further ado Let's get into the other stuff that I got this month or month and a half. I know a lot of you guys, or I think one or two of you, have requested that I start trying on the clothes in my collective hauls. And usually I don't because I normally have more like makeup or accessories, stuff like that, that I can't try on. Um, so there's really no point to try on like two or three items, but this one I do have a lot of clothes. So I'm not gonna try it on because I've got a lot of random stuff too, but if you guys want me to start doing my collective hauls as try-ons, let me know and I'll maybe split up my collective hauls, like do a collective clothing haul and then a collective like makeup, accessories, and like random other things haul. Yeah, the reason I don't normally do try-ons for my collective hauls is because I do so many try-on hauls any other time. Like I do a lot of dedicated try-on haul videos for like Lululemon, Princess Polly, um, and other brands like that. So yeah, but let me know. I think I'm gonna do the clothes last because I literally have so much and I'm gonna try and get through this video pretty fast because I have so much. So grab a snack is all I gotta say. So first off, I made an order on Skims. I order from them all the time. I love Skims so much. It's Kim Kardashian West, well I guess Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian's um, loungewear line and she sells very, very comfy like pajama sets. I think she has like lingerie but she's got bras and like underwear and she has masks and these were sold out for the longest time and they finally came back in stock so i snagged three colors um these masks are so comfortable they just fit my face so so well and i love the material and i just think they're so cute so i got this shade i don't remember the exact shade that this is but i'll have it on the screen yeah i got that one I think they were only like eight or ten dollars. They weren't that bad. Then I got this brown color and then I got just a black. I think she calls this onyx, but I love these masks. I have been wearing this brown one with this 
brown jacket that I'm wearing right now. I'll talk about this later. But I've been wearing these two together a lot. Um, I'll wear the black if I'm wearing black. And I'll wear the nude if I'm wearing nude or clothing that's not black or brown. So, really recommend you getting these masks. They're reusable and I love them so, so much. I've tried so many different masks. And these are my favorite. Hands, hands down. Hands down. Okay, so next up I got two pairs of earrings. Um, both of these were actually gifts. But they're really cute. So, I thought that I would mention them but the first one is from kendra scott and they're really cool they're just gold hoops and they're like intertwined almost i don't know if you guys can see they're really cute i haven't worn them yet but my mom is trying to steal them for me so and then these i also got as a gift and these are from sheila fajal i think but they just look like these and I literally have the mini ones in this color or shade of gold and like style. And I love them so much. So when I got these as a gift, I literally screamed. I was like, how did you know? My brother and my sister-in-law got these for me for Christmas. But I just got them yesterday. Because I haven't seen them in a long time. But anyways, I just thought I would share them because they are so cute. And they're my new favorite hoops. Normally, I wouldn't show like gifts like this in a collective haul. But... I literally just got these as gifts recently and they were sitting on my bathroom counter so I thought I might as well show them in a video. Next up from Barefoot Dreams, I got the Barefoot Dreams blanket. Um, I have four of these. This is my fourth one. I have the white and cream or is it tan and cream leopard print. I have the gray on gray leopard and then I have a plain gray one and now a plain cream one. I think this is the cream and white but I just got a new couch. I'll have that video linked in the description box if you guys want to see that vlog where I show you guys my couch. And I have the cream leopard one on the couch at all times. That way I don't mess up my white couch. And then this is what I use to cover up. And I actually got this from Nordstrom Rack, I think, for 50 some dollars. Normally they're over 100 But these go on sale so, so often. So I'll have them linked down below. I think you can sign up for their emails to get notified when they come back in stock. I'm not sure. But definitely just stalk the website because they come back in stock quite often. And they're $50. Which is still a lot. But they're totally worth it. They're so buttery soft. And you can never have too many. Because I feel like once I wash them a certain amount of times, they just lose like their softness. So I like to get one every few months. But I think I'm going to stop for a while now because I've got way too many. I guess we'll go into Sephora. I was going to do like a dedicated Sephora haul, but I thought I would just include it in this video. Why not kill two birds with one stone? I don't know. But then again, if I did a dedicated Sephora haul, that's another video idea. I don't know. Okay, we're just going to get into it. Um, Actually, I got one thing from Ulta. I got the Ordinary Grand Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion. I heard somebody on YouTube talk about this and I just went to Ulta and picked it up. It's just like a retinol serum this was only like i think it was under ten dollars very affordable i used to use retinol a lot um and then i stopped and i just decided to pick one up again i actually haven't used this yet and i've had it for a couple weeks so i need to use it let you guys know if i like it i will do a favorites video soon that's what i'll do that's what i'll do okay um i'm gonna go through this really fast because this is just a lot of stuff you guys so i got the jisoo honey infused hair perfume i actually have it right here I had to get it from my bathroom, but I have the Gisu honey infused hair oil and I love it so much. So I decided to get the hair perfume, but basically you just spray it on your hair and it makes your hair smell so, so good. And I never understood hair perfume. Like why can't you just use regular perfume on your hair, but it actually dries out your hair. So this one's good because it doesn't dry out your hair. It's got honey infused in it. And I love the bottle. It's so pretty and it smells so, so good. And I've tried other hair perfumes before. I think one was from Sephora and it literally made me smell like an older lady. It was not good. I still have it, but I never use it. So I really like this. Um, it's really good to use hair perfumes because some perfume, not dossier though, but some perfume like fades, you know, like quickly throughout the day, but your hair holds perfume for a long, long time. So if you want to like smell good all day, hair perfume is where it's at. And this one's really popular. It's pretty expensive, but it's worth it in my opinion. Okay, next up I got the IGK Mixed Feelings Leave-In Blonde Toning Drops. I've only tried these once or twice and I like them, but I can't see like a huge difference. Basically, they're just these little drops that are purple. You mix it in with like a leave-in conditioner and it's just to tone your hair. And I tried them before I got my hair extensions um, and I didn't really notice the biggest difference, but I've heard a lot of people say that you've got to like keep trying them and keep playing with them and then you'll like them so i don't know i probably should have returned these 
but let me know if you guys have tried these and how you use them because i've heard you can use these so many different ways but right now i don't really recommend them yeah okay next up um this i mentioned in my latest get ready with me um it is the anastasia beverly hills brow freeze brow styling wax i love this for my brows right now i'm not wearing any makeup i typically don't wear makeup anymore like maybe once a week once every two weeks just really depends on what i'm doing but on a day-to-day -day basis i don't wear any makeup at all um i don't have any on right now and nothing on my brows i did just get them done today though but usually i just use this it's just like a brow wax and you just dip a spoolie in it and just kind of give your brows that feathered look and i really like this so i definitely recommend it and okay look look at this i've got like bags on bags in here next up i got the playa or playa soft volume powder yeah basically it's just a powder you pour it in your hair and it's supposed to give you like a lot of volume and i think it soaks up like oils too i'm not really sure i got this because i think bianca franco mentioned it in one of her vlogs so i decided to try it but i've only used it twice i did put some in my hair today to give it a little volume and i think it worked i don't know i need to keep playing around with it honestly okay next up i use these and that brow wax that i just showed you in my get ready with me video so i'll have a link down below but i got the hourglass ambient lighting powder and i got it in radiant light and i love this stuff so so much it's just a really good powder and it gives you like a little bit of a glow and i really like it like i said i used most of the stuff in that get ready with me and it was kind of like a first impressions um i used the kosas kosas tinted face oil as a first impressions in that video i got it in the shade number four and i really like it and i've worn it a couple times since that video and it's really really good it's pretty light coverage and it's very very glowy so if you have dry skin you'll definitely like this sorry i'm like flying through this i just have so much stuff and that powder just went everywhere last bag i got this is my newer stuff i just got the other day i got the nars natural radiant longwear foundation i got it in the shade medium three stromboli basically i love my hourglass vanish foundation stick um and i use it on days where i won't really full coverage and jacqueline hill is the one who put me on that foundation stick and in her most recent makeup video she mixes her hourglass foundation with this and she said it's just like amazing and everybody needs to try it because the foundation stick sometimes isn't like glowy enough or like just isn't enough for her and so when she mixes in the nars foundation and just makes it like 10 times better and i agree i used this the other day and i love it so so much i actually still have two other shades of this foundation that i got two years ago um well i've had it for longer than two years so i probably should throw it out well no i haven't had that for two years like those bottles but i've been using this foundation for two plus years um but those shades don't match me anymore like one was like the lightest shade because i used to be very 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 pale low iron problems but yeah so i got this shade to match when i'm self tanned um this is the shade that jacqueline used it's just a really good um medium to full coverage foundation very glowy and radiant and i love it next up i got the Too faced born this way super coverage multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade cloud i recently got this in the shade caramel and i used it in that get ready with me how many times am i going to promote that video but really you should check it out um and i use it for contour and so i decided to get a concealer shade because my concealer that i use is pretty expensive this one's not that bad and you get a lot so i thought on days where i really want to brighten up my under eyes and like just like brighten up the areas that you're supposed to brighten up i thought that i would use this since it's more affordable and i get a better bang for my buck i guess um and i really like this concealer i also have it in like my skin tone shade to like conceal but this one's super light like i probably could have done like a i'm not gonna swatch it because i don't want to get it on my jacket but probably could have went up a shade or two um but honestly when i used it it made me really bright and it didn't look like bad or anything so i like it i guess i'm glad i got that shade but it is very light i love this concealer i just put it under my eyes on my nose on my like forehead right here right here and on my chin and it just brightens me up last but not least i got the makeup forever matte velvet skin powder in y315 um basically brooke mooney used this in one of her makeup videos and her skin looked flawless it could just be because her skin is literally flawless or this but i ran and got it from the store after she said it but it's just a matte powder typically i use like glowy powders but i trust her so i got it and that's on being easily influenced okay that's all the sephora that i have to show you guys 
This video is just a mess. Now on to clothes. I have a lot. So first thing are these airy leggings. I got them out of the dirties. That's why they look like this. These are the airy. I have them inside out. Oh my God. I don't even know what they're called. The offline cross waist leggings that are TikTok famous. Um, they sent you in really, really nicely and make you look very slim thick. And I love them so much. Not as good as my Lulu leggings, but I do like how these cinch me in and make me look. I have a really short torso, so I need all the help that I can get when it comes to like making my torso look longer and like accentuating my curves. So I definitely recommend them. They always go out of stock. I'll have them linked if I can, um, but just keep stalking the website because these go fast. Okay, I got a few things from Princess Polly, like a lot of things. So I'll go through them really quickly, but you guys know I work with Princess Polly a lot. This video is not partnered with them. Um, but all the stuff I bought on my own, like they didn't send me any of this. So I just love them so much. I do have a discount code, but I think it doesn't work anymore. But I'll have it in the description box if you want to try and use it. But I think it expired. But yeah. So the first thing that I got is called the Gracie T White. And I got it in a US 4. It's a really cute crop sweater vest looking print top i love it so much i haven't worn it obviously but i'm like trying to get into that sweater vest trend slowly but surely i don't know it's really out of my comfort zone but it's really trendy so i'm trying so i decided to start off with this i like it though i think it's really cute and i have a vision for the shirt in mind for the spring and summer i guess i could wear it right now but the vision that i have in mind is like for warmer weather so we'll see i also got this pink tank top looking thing i don't even know how you describe it but it's called the Krista top pink. I got it in a US 2 and it's just like a little tank top and it has like lettuce hemming at the bottom and like all around it. It's really cute. I'm really into pink. I say that every video. I really should just say pink's my favorite color, but yeah, pink's my favorite color, but I just saw this and thought it was really cute. I ordered all this stuff in January, by the way, like end of January. So I've had this stuff for a minute. Haven't worn it yet. Again, probably something I'll have to wait and wear until the spring because it is very cold out. In North Carolina. I love it though. I think it's really cute. And then I got this sweater vest from Princess Polly. I got an extra small, small. It's called the Harvey Vest Top Beige. They had it in a different color too. Like a blue, I think. But I thought this would be really cute with, I have a cropped turtleneck sweater that I got from Princess Polly in my last Princess Polly try on haul. I thought it'd look really cute over that turtleneck sweater with some pants. I'm trying to figure out the vision, but I have a lot of visions in mind for this sweater vest. I just haven't worn it yet, but I think it's really cute. And like I said, I'm trying to get into that sweater vest vibe, but this one's like a hound's tooth. Is that what you call it? Print? I don't know. I thought it was cute. I'm into that color right now too, like tan. Speaking of, I wore this in my get ready with me video um, and I got a lot of compliments on it, but I don't know what it's called. Have it linked, but it's just a crop tan, brown, beige, off-white, little crop top short sleeve and it's got buttons and it's so cute. I got it in an extra small small and I just really like it a lot. And then I also got this for like spring and summer in mind. This is called the Marsa Top Black. I got it in US 4, but it's just like a black crop top and it's got like a collar, but it's got this gold ring detailing, which I think is really cute. So can't wait to wear that. Hello. I love telemarketers so much. Okay, next up from Princess Polly, I got this jacket and I think it's called the Dorian jacket or something. I don't know, but I love it so much. I got it in a US 2 and it's really cute. I wore it a couple times already and it just keeps you really warm. And I love the like plaid print and the brown. I'm really into brown right now, if you guys can't tell. I think everybody is, but I think it's really cute and I love it. Okay, next up from Shop Colorful Natalie. So my friend Ashlyn told me about Natalie Zasik, I think is her name, um, on Instagram. And I started following her and she always gets stuff from Shop Colorful Natalie. So I was influenced by her, but I got this pin sweater. I don't even know what it's called, but it's like in a blue color. It looks kind of like tie dye a little bit, but it's really cute. I haven't worn it yet, but I need to because it is to die for this like pin, clothes pin, is that what you call it? Trend is like pretty in right now and it's a pretty good quality sweater and I definitely should shop more on Shop Colorful Natalie because they have some really cute stuff. Okay, next up from Shop Colorful Natalie, this is the last thing that I got, but I got these jeans. My friend Ashlyn actually showed me these and um, they have these in leather too, but they're really cool. 
they have chains on the side and you can adjust them and then um yeah that's pretty much it i just thought they were really cool and different i love the fit of these i love the wash i got these in a small yeah i got these in a small they're a little big but when i adjust the chains they fit fine like you can literally make them as tight as you want to you just open that and like clasp it you guys know but I just thought these were dope and I cannot wait to wear these. I can wear these right now. I can wear these in the spring and summer and they're just cute, a little edgy and just adds the perfect amount of spice to a pair of jeans. Okay, so next up I got these from Grey Bandit, I believe. Um, Natalie Zasek posted a TikTok of her favorite pants and I was influenced and bought these. Um, I got these in a size three, so it's a woman's 25 or waist 25. It says W25. They're a little big um, in the legs. I think they fit good in the waist though, but they're by the brand Vibrant MIU, um, but they're like leather looking pants and they flare out at the bottom. They're super long on me, so I'm gonna have to get them taken up or hemmed, whatever you call it, because um, I'm really short, I'm five foot. But these are so cute and they're so flattering. And I really cannot wait to wear these, but I really need to get them hemmed. Unless I wear like really platform shoes with these, but I just don't want them dragging, but they're so cute and I love them. I think they were like 50, $60. Okay, next up, I have two things from Brandy Melville. I got the Christy hoodie, I think, in, I don't know what color they call it. I'll have it on the screen. Um, but I love it so much. It's just like an oversized zip up hoodie and, um, I have this in gray and I love it. And then I got the matching sweatpants online. These are actually two different shades, but they match perfectly. So um, these are just like the typical, I think they're the Rosa sweatpants from Brandy. I have these in black and pink and I love them so, so much. So I decided to get it in this color to match my hoodie. I've been wearing this zip up hoodie jacket literally three days in a row. I haven't worn the sweatpants yet, but I need to wear this as like a fit. I think it's really cute. I'm into brown, like I said. Okay, next up, I got a pair of Topshop Jamie jeans. These are in the size 26, but if you go on the website, it says to size up. So like if you're a 26, then get a 27. I'm a 25, so I got a 26, if that makes sense. Um, but they fit perfectly. I wore these in my last vlog that I did when I was going out to dinner with my boyfriend, and they're just the black distressed ones. I have these in a denim color I got from Nordstrom in the summer. But yeah, I love these so much. Um, I got the petite length and they fit perfectly. I love them so much. These are the best jeans ever. They're just like a skinny fit, skinny jean fit. And I love them so much. Last but not least, I featured this on my Instagram picture a couple days ago. I'll put it on the screen if you guys want to check it out. Definitely go follow me on there. But it's this top that I got from Revolve. It's by the brand LPA and I got it in a small. Definitely could have done extra small because this like falls and it doesn't stay on me and my under boob shows a lot because it doesn't like stay up i don't know or maybe my boobs are too big for this part because your boobs go like right here and then this is supposed to like hang down low but i end up having to like tuck it under so i don't flash anybody but it's just a really pretty brown color it's a sweater material and it's cropped and it's really cute uh sierra Furtado wore this in one of her truth or drink videos and i literally didn't know where she got it but i figured it was from revolve because i know she shops on revolve so i just found it but yeah it's by the brand lpa and it was definitely a lot of money i'm not even gonna say the price but it was worth it in my opinion because i think it's really cute and i got a cute instagram picture out of it and i never post fit pics so it was worth it in my opinion all right you guys that is everything that i have to show you in today's video it was so so long so much stuff and i'm so sorry but i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm sorry if i seemed like very rushed in this video this was just a lot of stuff and now i have to clean it up and i have to edit this video all by tonight so that'll be fun wish me luck but i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below click that bell upload every sunday and wednesday also don't forget to follow me on all my social medias which are on the screen and listed and linked in the description box below. I will also have all these items that I mentioned in today's video listed and linked in the description box for you guys to shop. Don't forget to check out Dossier's website. It will be linked in the description box. And don't forget to use my discount code HannahVictoria10 for 10% off your order. Yeah, let me know what you guys think I should do for my collective hauls in the future. If I should split up clothes and then random stuff so I can do the try on for the clothes. Or if I should just keep it like it is. Let me know. I love you guys, and I will hope to see you very, very soon in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys. Bye.